Hey guys, if you're like me, I'm in the process of trying to remove the cowl vent on my 1948 uh, to 1950 Ford F1 pickup. I'm actually really surprised at how there is such a complete and total lack of information out there as to how to actually remove this thing. So I wanted to do a quick video that hopefully you're, or you're at the point where I am with it and you're looking around on the internet for answers. So one of the things that you need to learn and with this particular one I've actually removed the outside cover and that wasn't really voluntarily. It actually rotted and fell off which is the main reason that I'm replacing this in the first place. So um, one of the things is to, to go and remove all of the bolts. Um, there's bolts all the way around here. I think there's actually a seal that normally goes on top but there's uh, screws all the way around and they're just flathead screws. They're actually really easy to take off. So you're going to open the vent completely. Um, this actually moves the mechanism down out of the way and makes it a lot easier to pull out in the first place. So I'm going to grab the one that's actually we're going to use to replace this one because it's got one key point in it. See, there's the one. Now, the one thing that you're going to have to do on the inside of the truck is on the driver's side, there's actually this, this bolt that creates tension to hold it open and shut. You're going to have to get under there, and I believe it's 7 sixteenths is the, is the size. Um, you're going to need two wrenches, one for the bottom. It's actually got a, like a captive nut on the bottom, and it's got um, just a regular bolt head on the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to loosen both of these up. If you can actually take them out, that's even better, because this being there actually makes it almost impossible to pull this thing out. And by almost, I mean completely impossible to pull this thing out. So... We've already removed that bolt on this one, and by remove it, I mean when I started to take it apart, it literally snapped and fell apart. Um, so once that is out, the mechanism actually is pretty easy to pull out. And watch, it's going to make a complete butthole out of me. So pulls out on the far side. Uh, you're going to do the passenger side first. Pull it up and yank and, and the passenger side just pops up. And then once that's done, the unit kind of needs to be turned and pulled right out. So that's actually how easy it is. And it's actually really, really frustrating when you've spent a good couple of hours trying to figure out how to muscle this thing out without knowing that that bolt actually exists. So I hope that this is really helpful. Um, if you need more tips, check out the flat spot on Facebook. Uh, we're a we're the largest flathead uh, Ford uh, community on Facebook. Um, we can get you these answers really, really quick. I'm gonna start doing more how-to videos like this. So hopefully this is really helpful to a lot of you. Um, 1948 to 19, actually I think 50, 51, 52 actually had the same cowl vent. So this is probably gonna be helpful to you guys too. But definitely go ahead and check that out. And also um, check out myflatheadford.com for more great videos and more great tech articles that'll help you get your, your vehicle back on the road. You guys have a great afternoon.